In this video, we are going to look at how to find an angle of a triangle given all the three sides. So as you, ca as you can see here, the question says calculate angle ABC. Angle ABC. So the middle letter here indicates the vertex at which that, la that angle is. So uh, the angle is at B. So here, this is the angle A asking us to find so whenever you're given all the three sides of a triangle and you are being asked to find an angle it means you are supposed to use the cosine rule so this is b capital letter b on the opposite side here you write a small letter b this is a then you have a small letter a this side this is c you have a small letter c this side okay next to come up with the cosine rule that is going to calculate this angle, first of all, you are going to say the side that is opposite to the angle, which is B. So we're going to say B squared is equal to, then we are going to use these two sides that are forming the angle that we are being asked to find. So we're going to say uh, A squared plus uh, C squared minus the same sides that are forming the angle that we are being asked to find. Then 2, uh, A, then C, cos. The cos is cos B, the angle that we are looking for. So cos B. Okay. Next, we just have to replace. What is B? B is 2.8. So we are going to have 2.8 squared. This side is equal to A is 2.5 uh, squared plus C is 1 squared minus 2 times A is 2.5 times C is 1 then times cos, cos B. Okay. When you square this on a calculator, you are going to have uh, 7.84 is equal to when you square 2.5 then plus 1 you are going to have 7.25 then minus 2 times 2.5 is 5 times 1 is 5 times cos b so you have 5 cos cos b okay so our aim is to find what B is the angle. So meaning on the right, M at remaining with uh, this term that has the, the variable or the angle that you are looking for. Meaning So meaning this term has to be removed from the right hand side and be taken to the left. In other words, we are just co collecting like terms together. So we'll remove this by additive inverse. This is 7.25 positive. So for us to remove this, we are going to subtract 7.25. So what we've done here, we also do the same on the right, on the left. So we have negative 7.25. Okay. 7.84 minus 7.25, you have 0 0.59 is equal to, this becomes a 0 minus 5 cos, cos B. Okay, our aim is to remain with the cos B. So we are going to divide both sides by negative 5, negative 5. So the negative 5 will divide, then what will remain is cos B. So we have cos B is equal to, so we have cos B is equal to uh, negative 0 0.59 over 5. So for us to find uh, what angle B is, uh, we are going to multiply through by cos inverse. Okay, we'll take cos inverse on both sides. And when we take cos inverse on both sides, we're going to see that this cos and the cos inverse will cancel. So what will remain is B is equal to cos inverse of this negative 0 0.59 over 5 okay 
So you have B is equal to cos inverse of this. Uh, you are going to see that you are going to have 96.77. So these are degrees. Okay. So let's round this answer off to uh, one decimal place or three significant figures. So we have B is equal to 96.8. Degrees. So you conclude and say, therefore, angle ABC is equal to 96.8 degrees. So this is 96.8 degrees and it's an obtuse angle. You can even see that it's making sense if you come back to your, to, to, to your triangle here. This is an obtuse angle, an angle that is more than uh 90 degrees okay but less than 180 so this is the angle that we are looking for so 96.8 degrees thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing comment hit the like button and share goodbye see you in the next video